Shalom children, my name is Eliana and today I have a very, very special story to share with you. It's a book that I wrote called Wake Up Jacob and I'm going to get right into the book. My husband Yeshai is the illustrator and we made it just for you. Ready? Young Jacob is about to embark on a journey that will change everything he has ever known. This story is dedicated to all the children of the Most High who have forgotten their heritage and legacy in America, Europe, Canada, India, Africa, and South America. Jacob was sleeping on his comfy bed inside his warm, sweet home. Mama, Daddy, little sister Deborah, and big brother Zachariah were sleeping too. It was a regular night, just like any other. Jacob usually sleeps well at night, cozy in his bed, but tonight was kind of different because there were interesting dreams in his head. As Jacob lies in bed, his dreams take him somewhere else. All of a sudden, he's in a land he's never seen before. There are people everywhere, he thought. As little Jacob looked around, he knew something was strange. Everyone was clothed differently with robes and tunics. Women were even wearing head wraps. To Jacob, they looked kind of funny. Wow, this is a grand place, he thought. Where am I at? Why does everyone look so different? Jacob walked on towards what he thought to be a building. As he walked, someone approached him and yanked his arm and brought him inside. I'm so glad you're here replied an unknown voice. Jacob was surprised to see a man standing before him. This man began to tell Jacob a very interesting story he'd never heard before. He told Jacob about a very special people something the man referred to as a royal priesthood. These people would go on to be very special to Elohim or God because they served a special God. He told Jacob about a promise made a very, very long time ago. Even though this promise took place a long time ago, Elohim remembered it. He used the word covenant to describe this promise. The royal people would go on to depend on Elohim for everything. Then something bad happened. 
This part made Jacob nervous. The royal people deeply disappointed their Elohim. The man told Jacob that these royal people wanted to be like everyone else. They followed holidays and other man-made traditions instead of their Elohim or God. Jacob looked down. He was enjoying the story so much, but it saddened him to hear the royal people would be forgotten. The man paused and looked down on Jacob with a smile. Jacob, don't worry. The royal people will be saved. They will return to their Elohim, and he will welcome them with open arms. Tell me the rest of the story, please. I want to know how the people are brought back, exclaimed young Jacob. Jacob, don't you see you are a part of those people? That royal priesthood is your people, your ancestors. Jacob looked at the man in a confused manner. How? I've never even met Elohim. If I'm royalty, then where is my crown? Listen, Jacob, Elohim will return back to you and you will be his favorite people. Again, but you have to keep the commandments and have faith in him completely, explained the man. There's one more thing, Jacob. You're the only one who knows. You have to tell the rest of the royal priesthood. These people are your family and they're all over the world. Tell them this message and help them learn about Elohim before it's too late. Everything they need to know is already written. It's in the Bible. Jacob, Jacob, he could hear his mom's voice vaguely. Wake up, Jacob. That is the end of the story. Children, I hope you enjoyed this story. Tell your friends about it. Do you think there are any similarities between the main character Jacob and you? That's something you can think about. Have a good day, shalom, shalom. Don't forget the Most High loves you.